Well, this machine is a story of neglect. I fixed it fine for him a year ago. Now he left it outside in the snow and the rain for a whole year after he used it and is complaining it won't start again. Five horse Briggs side shaft. Let's see when it was made. Well, first problem is the top vented uh, gas cap. I know there's going to be water in the gas, so I've got to get that all out of there. Oh man, that gas smells like shit. That's what happens when you have the carburetor in the sun all summer long. It dries the gas out and makes it smell really crappy and get sticky. Now check the oil. Uh, kind of low, it should be near the top. Check the compression. That feels normal. Well, now I'm going to check for spark. And see how the spark plug's doing. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now the spark test. Nothing. And it is turned on. So, this is an older model. Before 1982, all Briggs and Stratton engines had points and con condenser ignition, so now I'm going to take the flywheel off and fix the points. Well, boys and girls, it makes no difference whatsoever that you sand and clean the flywheel to control the spark. It doesn't matter how much rust there is, the spark power is exactly the same, but this customer went to the trouble of doing that. All that matters is your gap between here and here is as close as possible. Your ratchet's moving freely and catching. The ground wire is not rubbing on the flywheel, shorting it out. That's what would kill the motor. Mice haven't chewed the spark plug wire. It's not clogged with dust or dirt. So now let's take this thing off. I'm about to wink my eye. Did you see that? Simple as that. Key is good. Now I'll show you how to extract the flywheel. Time for extraction. One handy dandy pry bar. One cheap $20 air chisel with a point on it. Try the flywheel and wink your eye. It's off. Notice there's a blob of silicone or something sealing where the wires go in. That's very important because when it rains, water gets into your cover and corrodes your points. Now that that's all apart, check the point gap. It should be set at 20 thousandths of an inch, which, and that looks correct. Rotate this to see that they're opening and closing and that the plunger's not stuck. Yeah, they're working. Now, 99% of the time, you don't have to change your points of condenser when it doesn't start with no spark. Well, how I do it is I tear up a little strip of black silicone carbide sandpaper. It's the hardest kind of sandpaper there is and it comes in really fine grits up to like 1500. I like to use grid around number 320. Don't put your fingers on the sandpaper and put fingerprint oil on it and never touch the gap with your fingerprints or any kind of dirt. I have my little strip. I pinch it over. Try not to touch the surface. And now I shove it in the point scap. I sand it back and forth over and over and over in that little gap. And then you can see the corrosion I got on it already. 
And then while the gap is still open, I give it a blow. Rotate till it closes. Points always close on a Briggs where the keyway lines up with this screw. When they're closed, rub the points together. I call that seeding the surface of the points. Push down hard while you're doing that. Then rotate open. Blow one more time. Everything. Close again. And rub it again. Open. Blow. And I bet you we've got spark. Put the key back in. Put the ratchet back on finger tight. And rotate it till the magnets line up with the magneto. And then quickly rock this flywheel back and forth and check if we've got spark. And we do. Simple as that. That's all I'm doing. So now I'll just take that back off, seal up the cover again, and reassemble it. Now I gotta clean out the gas tank and carburetor. Now seal around where the wires are with the dab of silicone and ready to put the flywheel on. Done like an empty beer. Now to blink and put it back on. Make sure you don't pinch your wire when you're putting the cover back on. Stick it in the right slot. This 